Sri Lanka is one of the greatest travel destinations of all time, a beautiful tropical island in the middle of the warm Indian Ocean. Explore the beauty of paradise as you cross through the jungle, mountains, tea plantations, and stunning coastline. Everything you could possibly dream of is in this beautiful country with the perfect Sri Lanka route. Start your trip from Nagambo near airport. The beaches are also far more picturesque in the city, so if you're looking to enjoy coastal relaxation or walk in the fishing town, there are many fine restaurants with tasty Sri Lankan and international cuisines. Hotels offers a perfect blend of comfort. Exciting excursions await, from boat rides along the scenic Dutch Canal to vibrant fish markets and cultural attractions. Approximately 146 kilometers from Nagambo to Sigiriya will take around 2 hours and 40 minutes. Most taxi services offer both one-way and round-trip options. Sigiriya Lion Rock is an ancient rock fortress known for its massive column of rock that reaches nearly 200 meters high. The site dates back to the region of King Kasiapa for 77495 Ad, who chose this site as his kingdom. He decorated the walls with frescoes and built an impressive palace right on top. Accessible only through the mouth of an enormous carved lion, today, you can see the ruins of this magnificent architecture and huge pond on the top of the rock. One of the most exciting activities in Sigiriya is the village tour. It is an opportunity to emerge in the nature and culture of a real Sri Lanka village. Drive by a tuk tuk to Ihelagela village, a beautiful rural area in Sigiriya city. Tour start with a bullock cart ride near to the village pond and at 3 you will experience a canoe boat ride to the next side of the rural village. After a short walk within the paddy fields and vegetable cultivation you can reach village house. At the village house you can relax and taste the delicious Sri Lankan lunch or snacks. Then take a tuk-tuk ride to the tour start point and after finishing the tour you will be taken back to your hotel by tuk-tuk.
take the taxi or the bus from Havarana to Trincomalee. The journey takes approximately two hours. The travel distance is 83 kilometers. Fort Frederick is one of the most popular things to do in Trincomalee. Within Fort Frederick is the colorful Concherum Temple. Visiting the temple is free but you must have your knees covered and take off hats and shows when you are metering the temple premises. The whale watching season in Trincomalee starts in May and ends in October, and you can enjoy a delicious seafood platter for a good price. Can see deer and monkeys on the roadsides. Pigeon Island is easily one of the best places as it offers the chance to snorkel with some colorful fish, turtles, and even small reef sharks. The beaches have white sands and the water was the bluest color you could ever imagine. The popular beaches in Trincomalee are Marble Beach, Nilaveli Beach, and Upuveli Beach. The picture postcard Perfect Beaches and Mouth-Watering Seafood make a memorable holiday in Trincomalee. The distance between Trincomalee and Dambulla is 101 kilometers. Dambulla is famous for its ancient cave temple. For those who love art and architecture, the place is worth a visit for the stunning sculptures and paintings. Riverston is located between Matali and Kandy, one of the untouched, unpolluted parts of the island. With its calm environment, cold breeze, fresh air, greenery, and mist, it is a favorite place among hikers. There are many beautiful waterfalls in the area. It is an ideal place for those who like some quiet time with nature. Kandy is the second largest city in Sri Lanka and the most sacred place for Buddhists. It's home to the Temple of Tooth Relic and a famous botanical garden, and hailed as one of the top destinations in Sri Lanka due to its historical value. A walk around the Kandy Lake and tasting delicious foods in nearby restaurants are one of the favorite things to do in Kandy. Later, visiting the Temple of Tooth Relic to have spiritual feelings and blessings is a must to do in Kandy. Six kilometers from Kandy, you can visit Pinawala Elephant Orphanage. A visitor who is passionate about the wildlife of Sri Lanka should not miss the opportunity not only to witness a large herd of elephants, but can have a close interaction with elephants through activities like feeding and bathing elephants. The train ride from Kandy to Ella is a beautiful seven hours ride that moves through tea plantations, jungles, and mountains. 
The train ride is most popular among the local as well as foreign travelers. You can reserve your seat online 30 days before the day you want to travel. Ella has all the best parts of Sri Lanka, beautiful jungle mountains, rolling tea plantations, and epic waterfalls. Ella is full of amazing things to do, from hiking the green mountain peaks to jumping in refreshing waterfalls. The town itself has a bustling atmosphere, with plenty of great cafes and restaurants to enjoy after a day in nature. Things to do in Ella, Sri Lanka. Climb up Little Adams's Peak, hike to the top of Ella Rock, zip lining between mountains, walk along the rails of Nine Arch Bridge, and visit Ravana Ella. Also can go to endless tea field views at Lipton Seat and take our refreshing natural shower at Dayaluma Falls. Climb to the most sacred mountain Sri Pada to experience a unique cultural journey as you trek top to the mountain to watch the stunning sunrise. At the very bottom of Sri Lanka is beautiful south coast filled with small coastal towns and some of the best beaches in Sri Lanka. The region known for its stunning beaches, vibrant culture, and diverse wildlife, the destination offers a perfect blend of natural beauty, historical sights, and thrilling adventures. The best time to visit is from December to April. This is when the beaches become pristine, the waters calm, and the weather perfect for basking in the sun or enjoying water activities like snorkeling and scuba diving. Unforgettable savor of mouth-watering Sri Lankan dishes, from spicy curries to delicious seafood delicacies. Do not forget to try Sri Lankan street food bursting with flavors and aromas. You can take the fastest southern highway to the capital city Colombo. Within one to two hours, you can reach Colombo. Sri Lanka's capital Colombo, a port city with a rich colonial heritage, on the western coast is a potpourri of races, religions, and cultures. The city contrasts itself with mansions, lush gardens, fine dining options, and shopping malls packed with expensive designer brands. Take a tuk-tuk ride to Peta Market, try street food, visit the Gangarama Temple and see a 360-degree view from the tallest tower in South Asia. Lotus Tower are some of the popular activities in Colombo. Also can take an open deck double-decker of the Colombo City Tour to witness the charm of Colombo. Else, having high tea at one of the colonial-style hotels overlooking the Indian Ocean. Please comment and subscribe. Watch full video of each destination available on the channel.